So let's say you're in a quick rush and you want to be able to throw a PowerPoint presentation together and not go through and create your own design with your own text or maybe you'll change some text but you don't care about the design. You want something that looks nice. PowerPoint has some nice templates. Go ahead and double click on the shortcut to open up the program and then come up here instead of starting with a blank slide and adding a bunch of slides with your own design background, which you can do. As you'll see later in the training videos, go ahead and click on the Office logo button, come down, click on New, and down below you can do blank and recent templates that we've used over here under the templates group and we have installed templates that I have already on my computer and I've got a few here introducing PowerPoint we'll skip the install themes you do have my templates which is any presentation you create and you save as a template for later use and then you have some Microsoft online templates now the only way you can access online is if you have internet connection if you don't have internet connection when I click on agendas you see where it says searching if I go ahead and I click on this and I download it's not going to be able to download if I don't have internet connection so there's some other templates but let's just go with what we've got installed on our computer here that comes with PowerPoint and we can go ahead and do a quiz show hey that looks good all I have to do is go ahead and select it once and click on create or what I like doing instead it's faster is double click give it a second or two and there it goes. I've got my first, second, third, and fourth slides. In fact, if I look in my slide view here, when I click and drag the scroll bar, and I scroll down, or I can use the down arrow here, you can see I got up to, oh, eight slides here. You see those little stars next to the slide numbers? That means there's animation within the slide or a transition. So in any case, if I want to go back to slide one over here, I can click and drag and scroll up. You can see I'm on slide two. I can hold down the control key and hit the home key on the keyboard at the same time and it takes me back to the beginning. Control end takes me to the end which is slide 8. Control home takes me to the home in any case. We got a new presentation here. All we have to do is with this template if it's not a quiz show but we like the design let's say we can click in here in the text and just change it and call it whatever you want like my show or call it uh, gummy bears because now you have a presentation on a candy show here about the new flavors of gummy bears. In any case you can click off in a blank area. You get the idea. Template just says, hey, we got a design for you. Do you like it? Go for it. Just replace the text you see here with your text. And then when you're finished, you can see up at the top, it's Presentation 2. In other words, we haven't saved it yet. But when we do save it, we'll go ahead and give it a name, and uh, we'll do that in the next couple of training videos here. But for right now, you know that you've got templates to back you up if you're in a time crunch to put a design together. That way you don't have to worry about it. Just go ahead and replace the template's text with your text. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.